Okay, so we have our super simple farming game happening here. We can water our plants, we can harvest our carrots, we can replant our seeds, and as we move, our battery goes down. You can see it on the lower part in yellow, 60, 58, it's going down. We also have the hours of the day going down. And so what we're gonna have to do is manage our energy as well as our time when we're planting our crops and harvesting and all of that. Because if we run out of energy, then it's gonna be game over. But we don't actually have the game over set up yet, so let's do that. The easiest way to do this is with a state machine. And that's just a fancy way for just basically wrapping everything in an if. And so we'll just say a state equals play to start out with. Okay, this is just a string variable. And so let's clear the screen. Can't believe we didn't clear the screen. And then let's say uh, if state equals play, then we do all the rest of this. Else if state equals dead, then we just print your dead lol. Okay, and you can replace that with something really nice. You can make a really cool graphic or whatever, but for us, that'll work just fine. Print your dead lol. Okay, let's put this sort of in the middle, 63, I don't know. 50 color 10. And so all we have to do when we die is switch this state to dead. And we also need to make sure that we double equals for testing this. Okay. And so battery stuff drain if player dot bat is less than zero, then we switch our state. State equals dead. Save run. So we're going to just drain the crap out of our battery here. Just do all kinds of craziness. And what should happen is if this goes below zero, it should, there we go, you're dead lol. Now, we don't have any options to do anything after this, so we should make that. Let's also say you're dead lol, press O to restart. So in our update, we're gonna wrap this in an if, if state equals play, then we do this, state equals dead, then if button P, the circle button, then we're going to run our game again. Now, there's other ways to reset everything, but um, if we just start out with the game playing, this is like the simplest possible way to do it. We're just going to run the game again, which is going to reset everything. It's going to not only call our init, but it's also going to reset our map and everything. If we just were to call init, our map would stay the same. Okay, so let's save and run. I think I missed an end here. Save, run. There we go. Now let's do the same thing. Just drain our battery down. Go crazy. Okay, we're just draining our battery. Good. You're dead, lol. Press. Okay, that's off screen, but we know. Hit Z, and then it'll restart. Ooh, it didn't reset everything. That's interesting. Why didn't it do that? Why didn't it do that? Oh, I know what happened. We already had all of this, which was just confusing to me. So let's get rid of all of this so that we know it resets things. Okay, save run. Let's do a little bit of work here. All right, let's go to the next day. Do some work. Sure, we'll go to the next day. Boop, and now let's run our battery all the way down. You're dead. Okay, press C. There we go, and it resets everything. Good. So let's fix that message. We don't want it to be totally terrible. Say like 20 maybe, okay. The other thing we need to do is work out our time. So if clock is less than zero, then state equals dead. So if we run out of time also, state equals dead. So let's make this clock go a lot faster. There we go, that works. Let's make it a little bit so we can at least see the time going down. 16, 15, 13, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, dead. Great. You're dead press. Okay. I'm just going to make sure this works. Also, I might just reset the battery to 99 instead of 100 because that's going to be a little easier. There we go. Great. So when we reset our battery, just put that on 99 because that's going to be easier, a lot easier than moving the icons all around and everything. Great. Now we're running out of time. Boom. Okay, and we can restart. Okay, let's take that back down a little bit. Let's take the day cycle and have this happen a little bit slower. Save, run. Let's see how this feels. As the clock goes down and my energy goes down, I should be able to like do a bunch of crops here before I have to go to bed. Yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable, at least for now. We charge. Okay, we have the stakes happening here. We can do things that we need to do, and we have to do them in a certain time frame. So we have to manage our energy as well as our time, and that's what's going to make this game interesting. Can we do all the things we need to do without dying? Yay! So next we're going to work on actually being able to buy and sell things, which is pretty important for this game as well. That's all for today. By the way, if you're new to Pico 8, we have a free Pico 8 Essentials Workshop available right here. And if you want to watch all the videos in this series, there's a playlist right here. See you next time.